Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I'm going to show you everything I got in my Halloween haul. Um, basically, all this junk. <laughs> Not really junk, it's amazing stuff, if I'm honest. So we will start with what I got in Tiger. Tiger sold these amazing hairbands with tiny little bats on them. So there you go, so they're just plain black hairbands with plain black bats on, but I thought they would make a really nice accessory and even when they're just on your wrist and you haven't got your hair tied up, you have a little bat bracelet. So that's really cute. I think they were a pound. I got two of these ceramic pumpkins that you can paint and they're tea light holders. Um, sorry the lighting's really crazy, it's because it's now dark outside and I've just got my room light. Um, so yes, you put a tea light inside them and you can paint them however you want. So I got two, one for me and Chris to decorate. I think I want mine traditional orange and then some glitter. I'm not sure what Chris will do. He really likes drawing and they're very smooth so I think he could draw over the top of them. So we will see. I will post a picture on Instagram when they're painted and decorated so you can check them out. I think these were about three pounds each. Next up from Tiger were these foamy stickers. They come in pumpkins which are really glittery. Ghosts which some are glittery, some aren't. So that's nice because that's only pumpkins. Yes. So there are some matte pumpkins and some glittery. Same with the ghosts and then same with the black cats. Some are glittery and some are just plain black. Um, I thought these would be fun. I'm not really sure what for. They were a pound and um, I think it's because there are black cats on them. And I was like, that is bloody brilliant. I don't know where to stick them. I hadn't got that far in thinking about it. Um, yeah. Who knows, so that's really cool. Next up I got some socks. I think these were from um, New Look and I got three pairs. So I got some silver glittery ones with ghosts on and the ghosts are saying boo. Which is very really nice. Yes, they're really cute. These have been sitting in a bag in our front room for like a week and a half. I've been wanting to wear them. Next up are these grey ones, non-glittery, with little like pumpkin sweets and other types of sweets and then bats as well on little sticks. It's really cute and they're nice and soft and everyone loves wearing these socks. So, couldn't help myself. I think it was three pairs for five pounds. So pretty reasonable. Um, and then black glittery ones with little orange pumpkins. Again, they're just great. Good selection of socks, I'd say. Next up is my stuff from Asda. Um, I got this Halloween sign for a pound. <laughs> it says Happy Halloween. Um, I sort of, re I really liked its vintage shape and the fact it sort of looked like a frame. I thought it'd be quite fun on this wall behind somewhere or on the black wall. I'm not really sure yet. It comes with this ribbon so you can just sort of hang it up. I quite like that. Next up are these cookie cutters, um, also a pound. And I was looking for ages and I'd looked in Home Sense and all of them either had bats or cats and I wanted both. Uh, so this has bat, house, cat, cat, pumpkin and tombstone. So yeah, there are actually two cats, so that's really good. So what I'm going to do, is you'll see I've bought some cookie stuff so that I can start making biscuits. I bought four colours of icing, these are the pen icing, um, so orange, red, black and purple and then two blocks of the royal icing that you roll out in black and orange, so for the cats and the pumpkins and the houses and I can decorate in those colours and if I need any more I will get some more as well. Next up was a bath bomb from Lush, this is called the Bewitched Bubble Bar um, and this is the black cat one, so I'll show you that. It smells amazing, I can't really see what's in it, bergamot oil. Mm, that's about all I can read on the back, like it's really faint. It smells nice and relaxing. I'm so pale with this ring light on. So there it is, it's just a black cat. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, oh, I love the black cat. And it smells so nice. And I love the fact it's a bubble bar because they're my favorites. Because who doesn't want a bubbly bath? When I use this, I'll film it and post it online so you can see. See if it turns my bath black, that'd be amazing. Lastly is my stuff from Hotel Chocolate. Um, again, I saw this online. I saw this in a vegan Facebook group 
um, I saw this product, which is basically a spat shaped box. And then on the back, when you take these out, it has little wings. Can you see that? So clever. And inside here are six chocolates. You can see across the top. Sorry, the ring light is causing the glow. But um, we've got witch's fingers, a bat, a skull, a cat, a tombstone, and a ghost. Here we go. They're all the shapes of the chocolates. So nice. They taste delicious. They're dark chocolate, and it's called Winston the Bat, this box. Good old Winston. Me and Winston are friends. Next up is Tiddly Vampires. These are also dark chocolate. Um, it says, are oh, seventy percent Tiddly Vampires love a good nibble? Just make sure you stick your fangs in first. So they they just look too cute. There are the Tiddly Vampires. I love the box as well with the gold um, cobwebs. You see me like peeking outside? Yeah. As you can see with this, we couldn't eat it because I needed a way to show you. Whereas the other one. You don't need to see. Actually, I'll just show you how big the chocolates are. So they're like that size. That's a cat. Lastly, it's the Yumpkin, which is a dark chocolate pumpkin. This one actually says vegan friendly on it. The other two didn't, but the man in the shop said they're vegan, and I obviously checked the ingredients, and they are. Um, this one, I don't know how to show you him. I'll take him out of plastic. There you go, dark chocolate pumpkin smells absolutely delicious. I'm going to put it back before it starts melting in my hands. The Yumpkin. So there we go, that's everything I bought for Halloween. I am going to be putting all these little bits around the house. I tried to pick things that weren't to, like things I would want to take down later on. So, um, I mean, other than maybe the Happy Halloween sign, it could be a bit extreme. But the little, um, ceramic pumpkins I think will look really cute all year round at the fireplace and the chocolate will obviously get eaten now that i filmed this. Um, the foamy stickers I'm not sure what to do with them yet but it's okay. Maybe I'll stick them to my laptop, will that look weird? Who knows? Anyway uh, thank you so much for watching. I did a makeup tutorial on this look which is like a lovely purple green and gold um, smoky eye. I'll show you a close up. So I know it's a bit dark now to see. It's just sort of really dual coloured -y smoky eye, um, I added some stars, and then I had the dark purple lip, then I did an unboxing video, and there was a glitter, so I added the glitter to my lips, because it sort of matched all the other aspects of my makeup. And I also did a first impression on this foundation I'm wearing, which is B Flawless Foundation, um, but the brand's B, Superdrug own brand. So yes, if you want to see either of those, once I upload them, I will leave them below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a lovely Halloween. Let me know what you're up to and what sort of makeup looks or costume you're going to go for. I'd love to see pictures of it. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to a party. I've never dressed up for Halloween in my life or done anything really. I've been to a party about two years ago, but I didn't wear any makeup. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. I'd quite like to be Pennywise again, but um, yeah, I need to orderable cap and stuff for that. So yes, thanks again for watching. I will see you all soon. Take care, bye bye.